Stores L and M each sell a certain product at a different regular price. If both stores discount the regular price of their product, is the discounted price at store M less than the discounted price at store L? So I'm going to use the variables L and M to denote the prices before discount. So statement number one tells us that at store L, the discounted price is 10% less than the regular price. So a decrease of 10%, that means it's 90% of the regular price, or 0.9 of L. That's the discounted price. And at store M, the discounted price is 15% off, 15% less. So that is 85% of the regular price, or 0.85 M. So there we have the discounted prices, but we don't know anything about the relationship of L or M. We have no way of knowing whether L is bigger, whether M is bigger, and by how much. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us at store L, the discounted price is 5% less, is $5 less than the store price. So the discount L is the regular L minus $5. And the discounted M is $6 less than the regular price at M. So that's M minus 6. But again, because we have no idea the relative size of L or the relative size of M, by itself, this is insufficient. Well, because both statements are insufficient, now we will combine the two statements. When we combine the two statements, what we find out is that the discounted price of L, the discounted price is 10% less than the regular price, and that 10% of L equals a $5 deduction. So we could solve for L. Similarly, when we take a 15% deduction from M, that results in a $6 deduction. So we could solve for the value of L, solve for the value of M, and then putting all the information together, we could find the discount prices, and we could find out which discount price was less. So when the both statements are put together, we have sufficient information to answer the question, and the answer is C.